Hey everybody, I'm Ace Trainer Liam and welcome to my top 10 Ice Type Pokemon. The Ice Type has been with us since Generation 1, although interestingly there were no pure Ice Type Pokemon until Generation 3. Just thought you might find that interesting. A lot of Ice Type Pokemon tend to be big, bulky, defensive wall kind of things, but the problem is they have so many weaknesses that being a defensive wall doesn't really matter with them. That's why they tend to get overlooked in favour of water types, because water types can still use ice type attacks a lot of the time. In fact, the only ice type exclusive move that only ice types can use is freeze dry, which it's not really worth it when you've got ice beam, right? But anyway, on to today's list. Top 10 ice type Pokemon. Number 10. A Bomber Snow. A Bomber Snow is a big hulking giant of a Pokemon, and it does have pretty decent stats all around. In fact, when it mega evolves into Mega A Bomber Snow, its attack and its special attack become even higher, and it even gets pretty decent defenses. The downside with Mega A Bomber Snow is that its speed is half to 30, so it's going to be a sitting duck on the battlefield, especially with its numerous weaknesses. Sorry, A Bomber Snow, you tried. Number nine. Weavile. Some of you guys that have been watching for a while might be like, why has he put Weavile in this list? He doesn't like it. That's not entirely true. I've never actually said that I don't like Weavile. I just showed a bit of apprehension to it being in Pokémon Tournament compared to some other Pokémon that they could have included. Weavile itself is a great Pokémon. It's got brilliant attack. It's sneaky fast. In fact, it's the fastest Ice-type Pokémon, and it's also the joint fastest Dark-type Pokémon, along with Darkrai. And it does look pretty cool. I just didn't think it was worth putting in Pokémon Tournament. That was all. I, I I would have preferred to see Prime Ape or something like that. But I guess you've got to give Weavile a bit of love now and again, and I do like it competitively in Pokemon, just not for a game like Pokemon. Sorry. Number 8. Mamoswine. I think Mamoswine in a weird way is kind of cute, in a really derpy kind of way, and it's everything you'd expect from a Mammoth Pokemon. It's got bags of HP, it's bulky, especially with thick fat, and of course it has very high attack, it packs a hell of a wallop. The only thing really letting Mamoswine down is its special defense, because it just can't take special hits, which is disappointing really, but still cute as a button, kind of, in a weird, derpy way, as I said. Number seven, Dugong. Now this one is adorable. Look at his little face. It's like having a big wet puppy. Really cold, wet, but let's forget the puppy reference. It just looks adorable. Not to mention it's got pretty decent defenses and HP and pretty average speed, which makes it a nice all round Pokemon. A lot of people feel that Dugong doesn't get a lot of love, but it's actually a really good competitive Pokemon used properly. And we'll just skip over the fact that it's a water type that had nothing to do with my choice. Number six, Frostlass. I feel a bit bad for Frostlass these days because it seems to be living in the shadow of Glalie because Glalie got a Mega and Frostlass didn't. But Frostlass is a good Pokemon. It's pretty fast. It's got good attack and special attack. Not to mention it's immune to normal type moves and to fighting type moves and fighting types are a killer for ice type Pokemon. I think it would be fair to give Frostlass a Mega evolution, but who knows? Pokemon Company make their own rules. Oh, and one weird thing about Frostlass. One of its Pokedex entries says that a woman wandered off into the mountains and died and came back as Frostlass. That wouldn't happen because Frostlass evolves from Snorun, so the woman became a Snorun and then evolved. I, I don't know. Plus, it'd need a Dawnstone. This is complicated. Game Freak, sort your Pokedex out. Number five, Cloyster. We know what it looks like, but it isn't one of those. It's not. Can we just move on and talk about the big vagina? Yes, let's do it. Right, Cloyster is a beast of a physical wall. The thing has 180 base defense. That is scary. Obviously, ignore the fact that its special defense is so low, but Cloyster can take punch after punch after punch, which is good because a lot of the offensive types that Cloyster will be up against that it will be weak to are fighting that use a lot of physical moves, rock that use a lot of physical moves. Those sorts of Pokemon normally would pose a threat to an ice type Pokemon, but not Cloyster. Not to mention it is able to deal considerable physical damage as well and maybe drop a little bit of defense with a shell smash and it's all over. And I know what you're thinking, why is Cloyster always grinning? It's because it knows it looks like a fanny. Number four, Articuno. As I've said before, Articuno was, for me during my childhood, the legendary Pokemon I wanted to catch. I thought it was beautiful, I thought it looked just amazing, and I actually had Articuno in my team for quite a while when I was little. Nowadays, now that I've realised that it's four times weak to rock, it just doesn't have the same effect, you know? Miltank can take it out with Rollout. Although saying that, it does have pretty decent defences. And as I said, it is beautiful. Number three, 
Glaceon. Hey, an evolution. When I was choosing this list, I thought of Glaceon and I thought, oh, thank God Glaceon's in the list. I'd never hear the end of it if it wasn't. But I do like Glaceon. I think it looks cute. It's not one of my favorite evolutions, but you've got to respect how powerful it is. It's got base special attack of 130, which it shares with Espeon as the highest special attack of all the evolution. And it's got decent defense. As an all-round Pokemon, Glaceon's all right. I can't really fault it, and I just genuinely like it. I mean, it's hard not to like the evolutions. I know some people rag on Sylveon, but they're fine. They look, they're all cute in their own way. And Glaceon is no exception. Number two, Aurorus. Try saying its name and not sounding like a seal. Auror, Aurorus, Aurorus, Aurorus. Exactly. Actually, Liam, in the Pokemon world, seals say seal, seal, seal. That's a fair point. Forget I said anything. Aurorus looks magnificent. It is a beautifully designed Pokemon. And if we could just get over the fact that it's four times weak to fighting and steel. Oh dear. But it's got good defense and high HP, which allows it to be that little bit longer lasting in battle. So it's got its good points, it's got its bad points, which is why it's not in the number one slot, it's in the number two slot. But I can't fault how lovely Aurorus looks. It is a great Pokemon. As I said, it's a great Pokemon design. I just, I think it's fantastic. Definitely one of the better fossil Pokemon. But then again, so is Tyrantrum. So generation six was good for fossils. That's, that's all I can say. Number one. Lapras, the original MVP of Pokemon. This thing has a multitude of uses. It's a fantastic transport Pokemon. It's a bulky Pokemon. It's got decent defenses, decent special defense, decent HP. It's got power behind some of its moves. It can learn Thunderbolt. It's so useful. It's unreal. It has such good type coverage within its moveset. Lapras is just a beast. There's a reason Lapras hasn't had a mega evolution. There's a reason Lapras hasn't had any like further evolutions because Lapras is a freaking beast. Lapras just doesn't need anything. It's just fine as it is. Not even considering the fact that it's adorable. It's a great Pokemon. The whole just Lapras, man. Get educated, Lapras is great. I could sing about Lapras all day, but I'm not gonna sing about anything right now. But Lapras, 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 Lapras. Such a great Pokemon. Can't fault it, I can't find any fault with it. Thanks everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section which ice type Pokemon are your favorites, although there aren't many, are there? Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video from me. I upload videos every single day. And for those who have already subscribed, we passed 13,000 yesterday, and I think we got like 900 subscribers in one day. So thank you guys so much. You are literally the best people ever. But enough gushing from me, I'm Ace Trainer Liam, and until next time, keep on training.